Mobility and stretching is really important. Baby. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Enoch Dino. Welcome or welcome back to the vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Enoch. I'm an academy footballer and um, today we've got a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what um, my mobility routine looks like. I know mobility is a really big part of my videos and it's really something that I emphasize a lot. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what my routine looks like. And um, yeah, so for this routine, you're not going to need anything much. All you're going to need is your phone, um, I guess because you're watching. And the other thing I also have today is my phone roller. If you don't have a foam roller at home, of course, you know, you don't have to worry. It's just something I'm trying to add. Yeah, so my mobility and foam rolling together is normally just between 10 to 15 minutes long. For the mobility, it's just gonna be 30 seconds on with a 10 second break in between. Mobility and stretching is really important um, for injury prevention, stretching those muscles and getting the blood to circulate through it. Um, you know, it's a very important thing. So right now I'm about to go set up my timer. I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm about to go do that, so let's get it.
post up YouTube. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, you just try to keep it short and sweet. Um, you know, it's a lot of things you gotta do in the day. So be able to get your your body and mind ready for the day. But of course, you know, before the video ends, we always have to end up with the rest of the day. So I'm about to just pack my things up and about to head upstairs to my room. And then um, we're gonna open the word and just dive into the word shortly before we end up the video. So yeah, so I'm about to go do that. And um, yeah, so let's get it. I also be too, so you know, we're here back in the room. Like always, of course, you know, before we end off the videos, we always have to end off with the verse of the day. So we're about to just open up the word, just get into the verse. Um, you know, if you're here so far, I just encourage you to stay. Today's verse of the day is Jeremiah 29 11, and it says this For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. There are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. You know, me personally, when I was younger, I made a lot of plans um, in terms of soccer, in terms of school. I know there's this joke about um, making plans and plans making out of the group chat. And the truth is that just honestly, a lot of times it doesn't work. Like the plans in the group chat, there are a lot of things I've tried to do in life. There are a lot of um, decisions I've tried to make for myself. There are a lot of things I've seen myself going in. There's like a direction I've seen myself going in. And the truth is just that it doesn't work out the way I normally want it to. And um, oftentimes when I try to make plans and it doesn't go the way I wanted it to go, many times I get disappointed. But into a lot of you guys that play football, it's like a lot of us, our dreams are to play. Um, professional. If it's not professional, you have dreams to play Division One. You have plans to play. Um, maybe it's on your varsity team. Maybe it's on your um, JV team. In this verse, it says, "For I know the plans I have for you." So even away from me having plans for myself, it's not just me having plans for myself. It's God having plans for me. And it says here, "There are plans for good and not for disaster." When something doesn't go our way, you know, especially if you believe in God, you're like, "God, why did it go this way, God?" Why didn't it go the way I wanted it to? Because I know the way that I wanted it to was only going to be success. I was going to get all the money, all the cars. I was going to get this 100% on this test. Or I was going to get this, you know, just different things that really just kind of like pleases us, just makes us feel good, you know? Honestly, the question that we ask God sometimes is, how could you do this to us? Like, how could you do this to me? This is the way I wanted it. But here in this verse, it tells us that God has a plan of good for us. Even in the same way my father would love me, you know, because God is our father. God is my father. He only has your best interest in his heart. And I think that that's the best statement to summarize the whole thing together. It's just that God has your best interest at heart. I know in the moment and I see God, why, God, why, God, why? But ultimately, he just have plans of good for you. Just trust me. And that's really just God's cry out to, to you guys, to me as well, because this is something I kind of had to go through. I'm, I'm still learning and I've been learning for a long time. It's just to trust in God because so many times I have my own plans. I have my own plans when it comes to school, with my relationships, when it comes to sports, even football, of course. This is the way I see it going. But the truth is just that God has your best interest at heart. And even when you decide to trust in him, when you decide to put him above your fears, this is your fears, this is God. When you decide to put God above your fears and stop worrying and stop looking at this, but instead change your focus to him, he will uplift you and he will help you. And he's telling you that he will establish you. It says here in his word that he's going to give you a future and a hope. Another version says to give you a hope and an expected end. These things that we have plans for ourselves, we don't know it all at all. God knows everything. Even stuff over here can really just end up hurting us instead of building us to make us strong and become a better person. Whereas these things, even though it might be like harder and it might be like, God, how can I go through this? It tells us in his word that he won't allow us to go through anything we can't handle. He won't allow us to handle anything we can't um, really go through. So if you just go through this thing and you just trust in him, it's like he has you. And the same type of love a parent can have for a child, it's like, how much more God, how much more God that made the parent, how much more God that made the child, how much more God that made love, um, you know, so trust in him. Everything that you have in his hands is the verse I talked about it before, cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Anything, there's nothing too big for God, there's nothing too small for God, even it comes to the littlest of things, committed into God's hands. He has you in his control and he loves you so much and he wants to have that communication with you. He wants to talk to you. He's telling you just to trust in him. And if you trust in him, it says in this verse, God is telling you, I know the plans I have for you. Your plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and an expected end. Even more than I can imagine for myself, even more than I can imagine for you, even more than you guys can imagine for yourselves, God has better plans. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much just the verse of the day, Jeremiah 29 11. One more thing, of course, before we close out, I'm trying to make it a little bit of a habit, um, just to close in prayer. So I'm just gonna bow my head, I'm gonna pray. And dear God, our Father, we just want to come and say thank you, God, so much just for this beautiful day. Thank you, God, so much just for my life. Thank you, God, so much just for the person across the screen, God. You know, we just come and we just bring all of our worries and all of our cares to you, God. It says in your word in Jeremiah 29, 11, just that you have plans to prosper us. You have plans of good to give us a future and an expected end, God. And honestly, so many times I have trouble trusting 
because even I don't know what tomorrow is going to hold. So I have worries about myself. Um, not even talking about trusting in you, God. So, and even just for the person across the screen, God, they have their own worries. Each and every single person that's watching, they have their own things that they're going through, God. And we just come before you. We just come and we cast it upon you because he tells us to cast our cares upon you because he cares for us, God. Help us, God, just to trust you. As you have beautiful plans for the person across the screen, God, please just help me. Please just help them, God. Just that we continue to trust in you. Thank you, God, so much just for hearing and answering our prayers, God. Just for the person across the screen, God, just pray that they please just have a wonderful, beautiful rest of their evening, beautiful rest of their morning, beautiful rest of their day, whatever time they might be watching, God. And just that you continue to bless and help us. Thank you, God, so much for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And um, yeah, so once again, I just want to come and say thank you guys so much just for tuning into the video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notification bell to be notified every time I post. And um, yeah, so it's been your boy, Nathaniel Bosch.